my name is Prakash Menon and uh, this is part of the Retail Ninja series and now we're going to get into the first section or what we call vision. It's about adapt, it's about you know the drive, it's about uh, purpose I suppose. So if you look at understanding the why, the what and the how and that's uh, ultimately leading to the vision because the key question is over the course of our lifetime we find ourselves surrounded by people of various nationalities colors creeds you know as we because it's a global village so despite the obvious differences however subtle but distinct common traits exist between people no matter what their country of origin their faith their so socio-economic background or the color of the skin in fact we traditionally find one of those three distinct archetypes as we call it emerges upon closer observation of an individual. So if I use the analogy of the lion, the golden retriever or the rabbit. So our world is full of lions. Lion as an animal which is confident and self-assured. The lion comes from a place of strength. But the lion also carries with him or her an unmistakable thing, uh, air of arrogance. So then we have the golden retriever. So his love for humans is unmatched. So the golden retriever, uh, you know, is gentle, kind and compassionate by nature, but he or she, the golden retriever lacks self-belief and constantly needs or seeks the approval of others. So pat on the back or, uh, you know, am I doing a good job? And finally, there's a rabbit. The rabbit plays, prays to the Almighty, you know, hoping for a miracle to bring success to, to his or her life rather than putting in the hard yards to achieve uh, it for himself or herself. He hopes desperately to win the lottery, but would never buy a ticket. The rabbit spends his life whinging and complaining about the lion and the golden retriever all day long. And yet, as soon as uh, he or she sees uh, so much of the shadow of either one, uh, they run. Uh, I suppose no cynic has ever contributed to meaningful change, which we discussed earlier. While skeptics, uh, skeptics deliver an important aspect of critical thought to discussions and debate, their doubtful nature hinders their ability to achieve, let alone inspire others. So in the race to victory, the 21st century, we have no time for arrogance or weakness. Therefore, the world today has no time for the rabbits of the world. And most importantly, the, you know, it's about having the combination of the good traits of the lion and the retriever. So the common trait in all leaders is that they're desperate to be number one. To achieve this goal, Mediocrity simply won't cut it. Our vision for the future leaders of the world are that they can come from a space of influence, not manipulation, courage, not fear, abundance, not scarcity, humility, not arrogance, strength, not weakness, confidence, and not hesitation. It is about you know, influence. It's about courage. It's about abundance. It's about humility. It's about strength. And it's about confidence. And from these qualities, a fourth archetype is emerging in our world. Um, and this is, he treads every step with purpose, balance and conviction. He has an absolute air of uh, confidence about him and the strength of character that comes from an unwavering self-belief. So unlike the lion, he has no time or need for arrogance. He is kind and gentle like the golden retriever. But should his mettle be tested, his composed power brings him into a final but graceful resolution. He will forgive, but he never forgets. And unlike the rabbit, he never allows himself to become a victim, victim of his external environment. Rather, he treats each lesson from his external environment as a learning experience to better himself or herself and the world around him or her. The animal that possesses all of these traits is the elephant. The world would be an amazing place if our future leaders all strive to embody the qualities of the elephant. This is what future leaders is all about. This is what the retail ninja is all about. So now a reminder that the, this is a transformational curriculum. This is not an overnight fix. We will need to take baby steps. We'll have to you know, keep practicing and practicing and practicing. We will achieve amazing things in our lives. There'll be moments you feel like giving up. I felt the same. Resistance will come in all forms, but have the faith and the trust in yourself. This is your life and you all deserve to achieve greatness. This is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's about growth. It's about personal development. My name is Prakash Menon and thank you so much for watching this video. We're going to actually uh, join you in the next episode.